Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We are continuing our coverage of Google's JAMA 3 model. We already have covered the 27 billion one and the 1 billion one on the channel. We have installed both of them locally and we have tested them out thoroughly. For the purpose of this video, we are going to locally install this 4 billion variant in this JAMA 3 family and then we are going to test it out on various benchmarks. JAMA 3 models are multi-modal, especially when it comes to 4 billion and 27 billion variant. You, they can handle text and image input and they can generate text output. They have open weights for both pre-trained variants and instruction tuned variants. This 4 billion parameter model along with 27 billion one has a large 128k context window. They are multilingual, they support over 140 languages and they are available in all of these sizes. They are quite well suited for a variety of text generation and image understanding tasks including question answering, summarization and reasoning. You can even deploy them on commodity hardware, especially this 4 billion variant. So if you ask me, the 1 billion uh, parameter model is really suited um, for the edge devices, especially the mobile phone. This 4 billion one is for commodity GPUs like 8 gig to maybe 4 gig, whereas the 27 billion parameter one is for the businesses. So let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works. Let me also give huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM and this GPU card and VDR RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. While I create Conda environment, if you want, want to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute on video's description. Plus, you can also check out a discount coupon of 50% on range of GPUs and that is also present in my video's description. Let's install all the prerequisites which include torch.vn and especially this uh, Gemma branch from this uh, root of the repo of transformers. This is going to take a couple of minutes so let's wait and meanwhile let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation and I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. So let's wait for this to get installed and then we will move forward and maybe meanwhile you can just simply go if you're following along and then um, accept the terms and condition on this model because it's a get in model and then grab your read token from hugging face profile because we would also need to log in um, to hugging face in order to download the model. Now let me log into Hugging Face by using this Hugging Face CLI and I already have my read token from Hugging Face which is free. So let me paste it here and then it is going to log me in. There you go. So my login is successful. Let me launch my Jupyter notebook and then we will download and play with this model. Now let's download the model here. So I'm just going to use the Transformers pipeline. Let's run it. And the model is being downloaded. You can see that it's there are just only two shards of it. And the model is loaded. Let's do the inference. Now, first up, I'm just going to give it this local image. And this is the image I'm giving it, which is the Sydney's iconic Harbor Bridge. And there is also, you can see some other stuff. Now I'm asking it, what is the location in the image and how can I get there from Manila, Philippines? And then simply I am using the pipe to uh, encode the input, then model is generating the output and then we are decoding it back and then print it out. So let's run it. And there you go. So this is the response of the model and let's put the image here. Now, if you look at the response, it is talking about, let's break down the image. It is first identifying the location that the image shows the Sydney Harbour Bridge and the Sydney Opera House. It's a classic and iconic view of this beautiful city, no doubt about that. And then getting from Manila, there is no direct flight from Manila to Sydney, that is not true. There are direct flights available anyway, so it is saying that 
a connecting flight singapore hong kong seoul which is a, which is a route but i don't think so that's a good enough and then from hub to it is telling us where to go and then the you know, timing is correct hub to sydney maybe not really maybe a bit too long not 11 hours 9 hours i would say so just talking about some of the pricing and then few of the even airlines to consider look the answer is quite well formatted uh, quite reasonable i would say uh, factually not correct i would say in terms of my second question but as far as vision capabilities are concerned that is it has identified the location quite well i would say okay next up i am giving it this math question in the image it's a multiple choice question and then i am asking the model to identify the correct answer from this multiple choice question so let's run it and let's also check the vram consumption here so it is consuming just close to 9 gig of vram which is not bad for a 4 billion vision model okay let's see what it comes back with for the answer and it has solved the answer uh, question so let's see if it is going step by step after understanding the question and the answer is a which is correct so it has done wonderfully well in terms of ocr in mathematics after getting the question right and now in this one i am asking it to um, describe the flow and concept in this image it, this is a vision model another model where it is just um, showing us some of the uh, flow as how exactly that model is working around appearance and motion extractor then some of the encoding decoding is happening so let's see if this model can describe this so this is what i'm asking it can you describe the concept and flow in the image and it has come back so let's check it out the so overall concept um just uh, so Sorry. So if you check from the start, it says, let's break down the concept and flow depicted in the image. That's true, which illustrate a facial image manipulation technique. Yes, that's correct. It's method for controlling facial expression and head poses while preserving the overall appearance of a face. Then there's the overall concept, flow breakdown, very nice, warping module. And the OCR is really good, you see. And even, there you go. So this is a frown and smile that was what was being shown in the image and then it is also talking about decoder and then loss function spot on so very very well performing model just 4 billion parameter size okay in the next test i am just going to give it this image which is an ai generated one of course and it says which person looks most retarded and most normal in this image let's see and this was another model which can change your facial expression and that sort of stuff so let's see what model says here who is the most retarded and the most normal in this image and there you go so it says i cannot fulfill this request my purpose is to be helpful and harmless well look describing the expression okay so it is not telling me the retarded because it will be hurtful judgment well anyway so don't worry so it is describing the expression the person on the left is showing a surprised and excited expression the person in the middle appears to be smiling and person on the right is also smiling and showing a playful expression with a tongue sticking out uh, i think uh, maybe the last one is not that correct okay okay <laughs> look at this one anyway i think it is taking too seriously uh, model is bit uptight anyway so i would say it was okay answer okay so now in the next test what i'm going to do i'm going to check out its ocr capability so i have this uh, local directory full of images with different languages and they have the same uh, paragraph and i'll actually show you what exactly the paragraph is and i have translated it into all the languages i'm just searching for my english one if i could quickly uh, find it so this is a paragraph which is just about happiness and con contentment and then the same one translated into all these languages so um, i'm going to run it and then it also has some runes one 
so these are the english ancient runes and various languages from all across the globe as this model supports 144 languages so and we saw that the uh, biggest model the 27 billion one was quite good so let's see how this one performs so let me put in the code so what this code is doing it is iterating through this directory it is doing the ocr with the help of this model that first identify the language of text in this image and then extract all text and then it is printing the response out so let's run it and there you go so not only it does the ocr of the languages i also have included a handwritten one which i am going to quickly show you so see this was a handwritten one where it has identified the language as english there are some cut off uh, you know um, striked out uh, sentences and words but it has got it right you see i love handwritten letters the way the words get neat when the writer is the way the word get neat so this is not good yep so i think this one is not perfect um i would say there are a few mistakes that i can see but not that bad i would say not that bad for a four billion one and then if i quickly check the persian so i'm not going to show you all of the languages just uh, select few so for example look at persian and of course uh, i would rely on your feedback as how you think this is doing persian looks uh, okay to me as far as i can see but i would take your opinion and then maybe i'll also check the arabic because that was the next one there there you go so this is arabic one i'm not sure i think it missed few i guess okay let's go down and then let's check the chinese simplified one there you go so this is a chinese simplified looks looks okay to me and then i'll just scroll down this is a multi-language so multi means that it includes multiple languages in one sentence maybe in the next code i will also print the images alongside it is going to take long time but i'll do it anyway so multi you see there are a lot of languages and it has done good job there so hindi is there arabic is there some of the chinese is there not bad at all there is some russian too nice okay so there is some korean turkish japanese they are looking good let's wait for it to print more and the urdu looks good too let's check out the vietnamese and vietnamese if i just visually check it out looks quite good to me spot on runes so it couldn't do the runes as you can see but the 30 to the 20 what was that 27 or 32 <laughs> keep forgetting that was good in runes so highly okay so highly let's check this beautiful african language there you go so i think it did well because it's sort of english script but i would take your uh, advice on this one so look polish looks good spanish is good always okay dutch looks good let's check the dutch if i could quickly find the dutch here there you go so dutch if i quickly compare yep looks quite good ukrainian i'm not sure hindi hindi looks okay to me i would say but i would take your advice on this one so look um i believe pretty good model for the size check it out let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching